have been facing an ultimatum from ISIS militants. We've been talking about it here on KUSI. Either they convert to Islam, leave, or be killed, basically. Now lawmakers in Washington, D.C. are taking action. And our local Chaldean um, ambassador, I would say, Mark oh, Arabo, joins us here to talk about this sure. amazing move that you guys were able to yeah. accomplish in Washington, D.C. Tell everybody at home what just happened. Sure. Well, uh, thank you for having me. Of course. And basically, uh, only in America is this story possible. Yeah. I was born in uh, La Mesa, California, and my, my parents were immigrants from Iraq. I remember every Sunday we used to go to church, and after church we'd have a family lunch, and, and my parents used to always say, uh, America is the best country in the world. Mm -hmm. And I was take, as we started our journey six weeks ago, I would, um, it really hit home. Mm -hmm. And I remember what my late father told me, and it's true, only in America can a private citizen uh, go to Washington, D.C., meet with, in the Capitol Hill, meet with members of Congress, meet with State Department, have a meeting at the White House with top Obama aides, and do real change. And and make change happen. Right. So let's talk about this resolution that was pushed sure. forward literally the day right. after you spoke sure. um, at the White House. So, you know, our champion uh, has a gold of heart is Congressman Juan Vargas. Mm -hmm. He was the one that really ushered us in in the very beginning and, and had the, the spark that uh, let our wildfire spread to really for humanity. Mm -hmm. um, so basically what this resolution does, and it passed unanimously within a six week period, is it increases the regional immigration ceiling. So it reallocates visas, mm -hmm. it expedites the visa process, and it does a safe haven for Christians out of Iraq, out to Kurdistan, Turkey, and it gives these folks a chance not just to survive but to live. Um, I can tell you that the folks we're, we're fighting for, these are children and families that all they're asking for is to wake up in the morning, go to church, say the Our Father and Hail Mary, and not worry about being beheaded. That's all they're asking for. They're not asking for special treatment. They're not asking for you know, special cars or, or subsidies. They just want a chance to practice their religion. So and this, so we're doing everything we can, and this resolution was monumental. I, I agree. You know? I mean, it, it's amazing that now uh, these people that are being persecuted in Iraq mm -hmm. will have kind of a, a, a fast pass, if you will, right. to get out of that environment to save themselves and to continue to be able to practice the religion right. that they that they choose. And we've also worked with the United Nations, and I want to thank actually France is leading the way, offering asylum. That's wonderful. So we're talking to other countries, and I think the United States may follow. The last time the world saw this was Bosnia. Wow. This is a crime against humanity. It's a Christian genocide. And well, the world needs to come together. It's amazing that just a small group of people, like you were saying, a yeah. small group of people has been able to get this Congress yeah. that has been able to almost right. do nothing sure. to actually act. You don't need to be a seasoned politician to do change in Washington. You just got to be a private citizen with compassion and a community and great lawmakers. And only in America is this story possible of a resolution of really fighting for people that don't have a voice and helping out the most vulnerable folks in our world. Children that are being beheaded and crucified it's because amazing. they want to say that our Father and Hail Mary. It's amazing. And Real quick before sure. we go, I have to ask you, what is next? You see, you had mentioned that you're going to sure. try and, and reach out now to the UN. So I'm, I'm actually, I'm already having talks with the United Nations. Mm -hmm. We're talking to the UN and I'm talking to other uh, world organizations to make sure that not just America and France, but the world offers these folks uh, a new home. And uh, the message to everyone is we will never give up and Christianity will never die. All right, Mark, so, uh, congratulations on thank such you. amazing work. Thank and I'm so sure the, the, the Christians, the Chaldeans there are, yeah. gonna, are really going to benefit from all you've done. Sure. Thank you so much thank for you. coming.